I'd like to show you this little trick that I picked up from my guitar teacher when I was 15, 16 years old, just starting out on the guitar. It's a trick to play scales and practice scales in a way where you can really hear what's going on. You can hear the relationship of every note in the scale to the root note, and it's much more of an exercise for your ears than it is for your fingers. It's not so much about learning some muscle memory pattern by rote, which you might be used to if you're if you're practicing scales in that way, you're trying to get this muscle memory to play faster and faster and smoother and everything. This way is more about learning where your notes on the, are on the fretboard and really hearing what those notes are supposed to sound like. So let me walk you through it. The idea is you take one, one of your lower strings, uh, in this case I'm using the low E string, you let that note ring out while you play the scale on the next string. So the scale on the next string, if I'm using my low E as the drone note, that's going to be the root of my scale. On the A string on the 7th fret, that's where that E is, again, an octave higher. So those two notes an octave apart. This E on the 7th fret of the A string is going to give me the first note in my scale. So what I was just doing uh, a second ago was an E major scale. So to get that on the A string, you're going to want to go from fret 7 up two frets to fret 9, up two frets, then up one fret, then up two frets, up two frets, up two frets, and then up one more fret, all the way up to fret for 19 in order to play your high root. Uh, if you're on an acoustic guitar, you're going to have some trouble get all the, getting all the way up there to that fret 19, but fear not, you can go down from that 7th fret as well. You can go from here, you go down one fret, down two frets, down two frets, down two more frets to the open A string to get that note. So you can, you can go up and down from your root note here. You don't always have to go all the way up to the next root or all the way down to the next root. Um, you, can, you can make little melodies and mess around with, and make your own riffs and songs and stuff just using a few notes out of that scale. And when you do it this way, you can really hear... You can hear the dissonance of that note. It has a little bit of dissonance to it when it's played over the root note. And you can really hear the relationship of every note in the scale down to this open, low, ringing E string. So the next thing you can do is take that concept to the other pairs of strings as well. You can go open A string to the seventh fret on the D string. And open D string to the seventh fret on the G string. If you use open G, you gotta go to the eighth fret on the B string. And then open B string to the seventh fret on the high E string. So each one of those you can build any scale you want. It doesn't have to be the major scale. Build it off of the seventh fret, and then you get this drone note giving you uh, giving you the root all the time so you can always hear how the note relates back to the root note. One more thing you can do, well I've got a few more things you can do, the next one you can do is add another octave up above. So in order to do this, if you're gonna if you're gonna strum through the strings like I'm doing now, you gotta do open low E, if you're doing it off of the low E, seventh fret here, and then this finger has to lay flat so all the other strings go clunk. So in this case you'd go open 7th fret, clunk, 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 clunk. Then you bring your 3rd finger in to go ninth fret on the G string. So you get open 7, clunk, 9, clunk, clunk. Then when you strum through all of them you only get the notes that you want. And this gives you a lot more power when you're strumming hard on these things. You have, have some overdrive on like I do. So you can play little melodies like that, that was a uh, Jimi Hendrix thing. Um, and another thing I just did there was change the scale. I wasn't playing major scale anymore when I did this. When you lower one of those notes in the major scale, you end up with some other scale. In that case, it was Mixolydian, which I think is usually my favorite go-to for playing in this manner, where you've got that droning uh, open string. 
all you do is lower the seventh note in the scale, the one that's right below the root, instead of going one, one fret below the root, you go two frets below the root. And you can do that with single notes, you can do it with octaves. So one final thing you can do is you can go check out a free course that I have on my website on how to practice scales the right way or what I think is it's my recommended way of practicing scales that gets you hearing the relationships of the notes to the root in the way that you practice these scales. So this is going back to the rote memorization of, uh, of running your fingers across the fretboard in different ways to get different scales. So go to defdigits.com slash scales that is my website, defdigits.com. Slash scales will take you to the free course on how to practice scales the right way. Thanks.